Hi guys, Tarain here. Uh, just a quick update of an upcoming apocalypse. Well, I've got an apocalypse update. Uh, you've got your general space marine there, I've got Zaheriel here, and uh, a Vindicator. Now everyone knows that in normal 40k, a space marine Vindicator is pretty devastating. Uh, I've never really been interested in getting a super heavy vehicle, but since I've been doing the heresy campaign, and the release of the fell blade and hopefully some more stuff for the campaign and some when the uh, next book in the Horus Heresy from Forge World comes out there'll be some more bigger tanks so I thought you know what it's about time I got a bigger tank but looking at finances as I've already said it was pretty much a destitute idea we've uh, been doing a bit of refurbishment work up in the in, in the storage area and I came across something yesterday that I am uh, was pretty surprised by. I had it years ago and I'd completely forgotten about it. Untank. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's a massive thing. We take... There's the indicator. But it is, surprisingly, 1 to 28 millimeters. So it's the exact scale of 40k. If I put Zaheriel here... So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty big, but that is not the best thing about it. Get rid of that, and we'll put Zahiria on the top. Now I'm going to balance the camera on my leg for the minute. So excuse me, and I'm really sorry about the light. I've got to get a new light as the bulb on mine broke. So just bear with me. Okay. Yep. You did see that. It wasn't a trick of the camera. This this tank is a remote control. It's a remote control battle tank. Goes forwards with lights, as you can see. Doesn't like it when the aerial's fully out when it's so close. Goes back, left, right, and all of that. But it also does this, which is amazing. Yes, it has a fully movable turret. And you say, how can this get any better or any more cool? This thing fires. Watch the red light, guys. There's the red button. Watch the red light on the tank. Yep. This thing fires BBs. I mean, I had this when I was, what? 14, 15? Why? Why did I ever put it away? How awesome is this thing? Now... I know theoretically it's massive, it's even bigger than a Bane Blade, it's about this much bigger, about 3 inches bigger, and the detail on it is pretty shoddy, it's only like a, a nasty plastic kit. I'm sorry bro, I've been playing with this all day, but because it's in the right scale, I can actually fit men into the hatches, and they actually fit the Space Marine uh, hatch guys, I'm building a captain command for it, so that's your basic tank bottom legs and they fit actually snugly in there along with where's the bee's gone I don't know where the bit's gone there it is that is your general tank topper to hold your special weapon on top. Of course, it's going to be amazing. Um, now, I plan to use it as a fell blade, but outside heresy games, it's going to be the Bainsword Super Heavy Tank. And there it is. It's amazing. But I'm not going to have the sponson, so I'm going to upgrade the side sponsons to Armour 14, so I don't have to fuss about that kind of idea. And also, something quickly for you heresy players. I noticed this when I was just quickly looking through this book. I don't know how many of you guys have got this one because it's the 
older one. Yeah. If you look on the Thunderstrike Interaction Strike Force on page 36 of the Space Marines, have a look at here. It is often said of a blah 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 and the Raven God Legion during the Great Crusade. The mo oh, hang on. You might want to pause your um, video so you can read it. The most augmented by inclusion of the Tempest Pattern Land Speeder instead of the increasingly rare Crusade Harpy Interceptor. Will Forge World do a Harpy Interceptor and will it be anything like what we see with the Tempest Land Speeders? I don't know if anyone's noticed this, it's just something I noticed. So yeah, um, look for updates on what will be either the Fellhammer or Bane Sword or whatever. But for the moment I'm going to go back and play with the game and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Mwahaha, <laughs> you may own a 40k battlefield. But you do not own the Apocalypse Battlefield!